In the previous video, we showed how to open the images in 3D View. Now let's discuss how to navigate them. When looking at the images, the top image is your coronal view, the bottom left is your transaxial view, and the bottom right is your sagittal view. When you click on any of these images, you can navigate to specific portions of your object. The images in the other planes will automatically adjust. The crosshairs show you where you clicked and the planes where these slices take place. If you do not have the crosshairs, you can turn them on by going to Options, Preferences at Viewing, and making sure the crosshair radio button is selected. There is also a 3D navigation. Click on the 3D navigator button, and now the transaxial, coronal, and sagittal slices are now represented as planes in 3D. By right clicking and dragging the mouse, you can rotate the object. Then by left clicking on a plane, you can move it in a different location on the object. This is helpful to pinpoint a specific portion of the object. You will notice the images in the data view or main screen automatically adjust to the new locations. Be sure to check out our next video on how to do basic 2D measurements.